Now that we're able to get a product by its ID, let's go into our components and clean them up a little bit. Like remove all the dead code, get rid of all the services we're not needing anymore. And then also we'll go and get our side effect working where the spinner shows up when we're loading this page. We'll get that working as well. We'll only be working inside of three files throughout the whole video. If we go inside of our products module and open up the product item page, we were working inside of this file in the last video. Open this up. And also the product view will open this up as well. And then also we're going to need to work on our spinner. So we'll open up the global spinner effect file. And that's inside of our global effect folder and the spinner right here. We'll open that up. So let's start on the spinner. So we'll turn the spinner on when we're trying to load an individual product. And it's very similar to what we're doing right here. So I'll just copy this piece right here and add a comma. And all you want to do here is remove the S. So when we dispatch the load product, we'll turn the spinner on or the load admin product. So I'll remove the S from there. Now we want to make sure we turn off the spinner when we're done doing whatever we're doing. So I'll copy this here. And we created these actions in the last video as well. Paste that and then just make sure you remove the S. So when there's a load product failure or a load product success, we'll turn the spinner off. And that's all we want to do in our spinner file. Save this. Now let's go clean up our components. We'll go inside our product view, start in there. And then down here, we could remove all of this. So now we're no longer using the spinner from within this file. So we get rid of this service. So I'll get rid of this and get rid of the service and also the product service we're not using that within this file anymore we get rid of this and that's what's nice about using ngrx it really cleans up your constructor you don't have to pull in all these services and why we're here let's make sure we remove it from our imports as well so i'll get rid of this and this here and that's it for this file jump over to the product item page and this is going to be less because we still need the alert service the spinner because we have a method down here this delete product method we'll be getting rid of this in a later video we'll be using ngrx for this as well but for now we'll leave that and just get rid of the dead code here and that's pretty much it that's all we need to do in this file for now so we did our cleanup work let's jump into the browser make sure we didn't break anything now, if we view a individual product, as you can see, it's immediate. We don't see the spinner. And the reason is, is it's getting the product from the store and not the back end. But if we refresh the browser, we should see the spinner. And we do. And the reason is it's making an API call and it's getting the product from the back end. Also, let's check out the admin section. And we'll view an individual product. And as you see, we don't see a spinner. And that's good. It's getting the product from the store. And then if we refresh the browser, and we do see the spinner because it's getting it from the back end. So everything's working really good. Next, let's start the process of adding a new product. So what we'll do is inside the products page here, we'll get this part right here working where we can add a new product using NGRX. And we'll do that next. 